Man United now need to replace Ten Hag with 50Y. OPEP hates facing. INEOS wanted him in May, as Manchester United grapple with a challenging start to the 2024 over 25 Premier League season. It's evident that the managerial merry-go-round is on the brink of turning once more. Such is the unforgiving nature of the results business. Two wins from six games is far from ideal in the role of football's biggest job. While reports suggest that Eric Ten Hag is secure for the moment, if the Dutchman provides his optimistic new bosses with another reason to send him packing, such as those similar to the alarming 3-0 home defeats to Liverpool and Tottenham, the 54-year-old could very well become this season's first casualty. It was a decision that Sir Jim Ratcliffe and co nearly made last term, just before the Red Devils dramatically altered the course of their manager's fate with an unlikely FA Cup victory over Manchester City. Should this scenario develop in the coming weeks, it would not be surprising if the Old Trafford hierarchy revisited their list of potential replacements they had drawn up in case they chose to part ways with Ten Hag over the summer. Among those candidates, Brentford's Thomas Frank stood out as one of the most viable, with The Telegraph describing him as a strong contender for the Old Trafford job. As the manager Pep Guardiola admitted he hates playing the most, it could be a shrewd move from United to swoop for the bees boss. Thomas Frank's impressive record against Guardiola, the last time Manchester City lost at the Etihad Stadium, was to Frank's resolute Brentford side, all the way back just before the commencement of the 2022 Qatar World Cup. With this impressive statistic comes the natural appreciation Guardiola has towards the Bees' head coach. What's more, in their seven encounters, the West London side, operating with significantly fewer resources than Man United's £600 million spent since April 2022 has matched Ten Hag's record, with Frank securing two victories from seven games during that period. In their most recent trip to the Northwest, Brentford took just 23 seconds to get on the score sheet, as Young Wissa took advantage of a major defensive lapse in the city box before two goals from Erling Haaland secured a 2-1 win for the Citizens. However, despite Guardiola Guardiola's team securing all three points, the manager of the reigning champions was keen once again to praise Frank. They are an extraordinary team, he told BBC Sport. In other news, Simon Jordan slams Gary Neville for absurd commentary during Manchester United vs Tottenham. Manchester United have made a terrible start to the 2024-25 Premier League campaign, winning just two of their six opening games to be 13th in the standings. Their worst performance came on Sunday at Old Trafford when they fell to a disappointing 3-0 defeat to Tottenham Hotspur. The Lily Whites completely dominated the first half but only had Brennan Johnson's early goal to show for their supremacy. The hosts suffered a big blow just before the interval when captain Bruno Fernandes received his marching orders for a lunge at James Madison. Spurs doubled their lead within minutes after the restart as Dejan Kulusevski hit the target with a deft finish. Dominic Solink also got on the score sheet as Ange Pokoglu's men registered an excellent 3-0 victory at Old Trafford. Fans and pundits all criticized United for producing a horrible performance against Tottenham on Sunday. Simon Jordan also wasn't happy with the Red Devils display, but he slammed Gary Neville for his absurd commentary during the match. Jordan said on TalkSport, People get very critical that our agenda apparently in the studio is to constantly berate Ten Hag. I listen to the commentary from Gary Neville and the language that's being used is absurd. It is not a disgusting performance, it is a poor performance. Manager Eric Ten Hag is running out of excuses and he must bring some significant improvements soon to stay in his job. The performance against Spurs was absolutely unacceptable, as they completely dominated United in front of their own crowd. The Red Devils are set to face Porto on Thursday before meeting Aston Villa in the Premier League on Sunday. If the team fails to do well in these two matches, we don't believe Ten Hag could still be in the job then. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.